the houses that the people in Borough Grove have been living in have been here for the best part of 60 years. They're like a time warp. They're uncomfortable old homes. It didn't matter what you did to it in the way of decorating, and you couldn't make it into a, a nice, comfortable house. You could change the paint, but it didn't change what the house was. The walls are crap, it lets all the air in. It gets really cold, even if she's got the heating on. It doesn't heat it up at all, it just goes straight out of the walls, and it's, it's just horrible. We worked with the community here for several years now and we actually gave them the option would you rather have your home demolished and, and replaced with a new home or would you like your home retrofitted and the residents of this particular street of, of homes like their homes. In fact one lady I know was actually born in the home about 50 years ago um, so they've become quite a, attached to these homes, they've lived here a, a long time. Everyone down this road at one stage was like, oh, I don't want to move, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. I was thinking, oh, my husband wouldn't cope with this. He wouldn't have wanted to move out, although I was happy to do it to get the place nice and modern and not to standard. It's a huge project that's involved, actually, the whole project's involved nearly 30 properties and cost nearly £2 million. However, comparing that with the development, you know, in other words, if we'd have knocked them down and rebuilt them, that would have cost in excess of £6 million. So it's cost effective from a financial point of view as well. Hello, Hello Carolina. How are you? Nice to see you again. We originally met with the residents over a year ago, before, a year before we started the project. Had an introductory visit, tried to explain what we were looking to do, get a bit of a feel for their property and how they used it, um, what the issues were. They came round and they spent ages talking to me about what I wanted, how I wanted it, what colours I wanted. I was allowed to choose my wall colours, my kitchen furniture, my colour of my tiles. Everything I gave them, they did for me. They had an input then on colour schemes, layouts, where PowerPoints are, radiators. The properties, whilst basically similar, there are differences and that reflects the people's uh, wishes. It was the perfect opportunity to, to, to put together that package of works. We did need to decant residents through that process, which is very difficult and a lot of upheaval and emotive time for them. But for all intents and purposes, they're coming back into a completely new home and it's all been done in one hit. Just got in everything. And then, yeah, new kitchen, new bathroom and wiring and all that. Yeah, so it should be, when, when we move back, it should be like a brand new house. My biggest focus had to be the tenants and the upheaval of their lives. That by far and large was the biggest challenge. Just because of the people and who they were, their age, the length of time they'd been here, the amount of possessions they had, we had to move all that out, move it back. Yeah, we were interfering with their lives and had to support them. It has gone quite smoothly. I was a bit um, nervous and excited and that. I think the dogs made it worse because they kept yapping and yeah, but now they're over there, we're over here, it's quiet. I can say to everyone that's got it to come, go ahead and do it because it's worth it, because you would never believe what you got afterwards, just go for it. Where this project perhaps differs to work we've done in the past is just the extent to which we've taken each of the measures. The insulation on the outside here is 100 mil thick. Previous refurbishments of a similar type were half that, so we've enhanced that aspect. The photovoltaics and solar thermal panels are they're grant funded, but they're an enhancement on what we might normally be doing. So the features, we've just gone that extra mile on the, on the issues. We're certainly sort of pushing the boundaries in terms of, of uh, retrofitting here. I mean, we've been lucky to benefit from European Regional Development funding, and we were fortunate enough to become the first housing association in the UK to, to actually secure that funding and to have a live project, which is culminating in what you're seeing today with these, with these houses. The guys who are doing the job work for Radiant Services, which is the in-house DLO of the Radiant Group. We've trained them in terms of the external cladding, we've learned new skills. Um, they've taken on this large-scale project which was outside of their normal comfort zones. They've learned project management skills because not only have we done the works, we've project managed it as well. Um, we've also, as part of the Radiant Services, we've got six apprentices on board. Some of those are our residents as well. So it's a learning curve for everybody and we're really equipping our workforce for the skills that are needed in the future. because. This is where it starts, this is how we're looking at it, and we're trying to gear up our uh, resources in terms of radio services, as you see, done a cracking job. 
We have had some expressions of interest from local authorities, uh, particularly, for instance, the external wall insulation, which our, our contractor is now certified to deliver that, that work. I've, I've learnt now the eco side of things, which I wouldn't have known before on New Build. I wouldn't have had a clue about keeping homes warm, uh, all sorts of things that are making the home itself better for the environment. We did a house in Highfield Road. An old guy had lived there for 50 years and it actually transformed his life. And he actually told us that. Having this done to his home transformed his life. He felt like he could just live a better life because of it, because he was getting down, because he lived in an old concrete house that was cold, things like that. Whereas this way, he's got a new home, but he's still in his home. Well, I walked in and I thought, this isn't the place I left. <laughs> but uh, no, I was pleased when I walked in and saw, you know, what they've done. Uh, it felt coming home when I got here. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. And I keep telling them that every time I walk into the house at the moment, I'm still getting that wow factor. I walk in and it's like, wow, <laughs> and it hasn't stopped. That's in six months. <laughs> They are beautiful homes that they're moving back into and not only are they clean and fresh and not cold ice blocks anymore but thermal comfort is going to be significantly improved. All these houses here were E-rated in their energy performance certificate before work began, so a year ago, and typically they would have been emitting around uh, seven tonnes of CO2 a year for their space, heating, hot water, lighting and all their appliances. And as, as a result of the package of work that's been uh, implemented here, that's down to um, around two tonnes of CO2 per year. The photovoltaic panels on the roof are um, a great benefit to the residents. The electricity they generate will feed into the house and they get three electricity. Radian itself gets no benefit from them being on the roof. We do not see the money. We just had a, um, our first statement through from NPower, which is a yearly statement. And our direct debit to them used to be £135 a month, that's for gas and electric. And our latest meter readings, they've now reduced my direct debit to £75 a month. So that's a saving of over £50 a month on my monthly direct debits through the heating and electric. The work we've done here will, will help to reduce their, their running costs so they are quite supportive and do buy into the, 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 the wider agenda and I think once it's been explained to them about the environmental aspects of, of the project then they do come on board more, more with that and we're going to be running uh, an education campaign to try and help residents reduce their, their running costs and live greener lifestyles more, more generally. Within three months, we can actually get mass behaviour change within a community. If you can do some tricks with them, like um, uh, leaving a cup underneath and seeing under the tap when they're brushing their teeth and seeing how often that fills up, they begin to clock that uh, actually it's wasting. Behaviour means money. That's, a, that's the key message. Radian have here done something really exciting. This is the first housing association that has a house that's open during the week so that the public can come and see what has to be done and how they can do it for their own house. One of the key things we've been doing is offering business assistance to uh, small and medium-sized contractors and professionals in the region about retrofit and trying to help them acquire the new skills that are essential to make this a success. If we implemented a uh, retrofit programme across the region uh, sufficient to meet our 2050 climate change targets, we could save about a billion pounds on our energy bills across the region, which would liberate money to invest in the local and regional economy. We could save tens of millions in healthcare costs from taking around half a million people out of fuel poverty, and we could also cut our carbon emissions by a fifth. So I think that's pretty good benefits. It's important that we evaluate whether the project has been the success that we're hoping for it to be. We're now going to be monitoring the performance of these homes for a couple of years and, and see whether that aligns with our original predictions. And there will be variations in the, in the performance of homes depending on occupation patterns and user behaviour of, of our residents. So we need to try and take an average picture from that and see what learning we, we can acquire. What Radium would like to do is to begin to get away from this sort of demonstration project. Okay, this is a, a street, but we need to start going from street by street to estate by estate. I didn't ever want to lose this house because it was my family home. And it's just, I can't explain what they've done to it. It's just, 
on a factor of it's just amazing. I, I can't explain actually. There's not one thing that's any better than another. Um, I love my kitchen, I love my bathroom, <laughs> everything about it. <laughs>